everyone, this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to paint on this paper bag. I don't know if you've ever thought about painting your own gift bags, but this is a great idea. Just something cheap that you can do instead of spending a lot of money on a gift bag. Paint your own. I am just going to be using my multi-surface and a couple enamel paints. I use the enamels for everything from walls to paper. Brushes I'm going to be using is a number 8, a magic brush. Show the name here. There it goes. And it is a long handle which kind of drives me crazy but I am using it. Then I'm going to use the number 10 Low Cornell number 7930 Flora brush. It's just a unique, kind of like a, a filbert, but with a little bit pointier and ragged edge to it. And then one of my favorites, my number 8 Deerfoot Stippler. Paints I'm using today are Moon Yellow, Classic Green, Autumn Leaves, Wicker White, Lime Green, and Real Brown. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, the Flora brush that I'm using is definitely a different, different type of brush. I'm sure there's a lot of different strokes that you can do with it, but basically I'm going to do the double loading with the autumn leaves and my wicker white and then I'm going to start creating my little my little flowers and so I'm going to start up here and I'm just going to kind of give the brush a little bit of a turn and you can do it where it actually pulls into the other petal or you can space them out up to you it like that. Now the, as far as the amount of petals I'm doing for this flower, I mean you could do however many. It's not a real flower. I'm not trying to recreate any certain, certain uh, design, or not design, but certain breed of flower. It's just one that I'm putting together on my own. So you can have, I would say anywhere from five, <clears throat> like this one is going to have what would that be Put on here? So that's what, eight petals? If you want to make them bigger, you can do that. And I apologize, my air conditioning had been on and it's just shut off. So you can do six, seven, five, really just depends on, on what you want to do. Then I'm going to just come up here and do the same thing, but I'm going to do more of a partially opened and I think on this one, because when I was doing my paper design, I'm kind of doing this a little bit differently, but when I was doing my paper design, I went ahead and put the bottom petals on. But I'm just going to wait until I put, because I'm going to tap the center in and then come back in and add, add some more petals to it. And I'll just do another kind of pull. If you can see that, just push it down and pull it and kind of twist it a little bit. Pretty easy. Again, as I mentioned, your pet, your flowers don't all have to have the same amount of petals. This is just a made up design. And I'm sure there's probably a flower that's similar to this that you could kind of connect it to, but I'm just not doing that. Just something unique. Whoops! Sorry about that. Knock my phone off. Sorry about that. <laughs> Catch it before it falls. And we're just doing however many will fit on your on your bag and if you're painting something else you could actually paint the actual design 
that you have on the item that you're gifting or if you're just doing this just to have a gift bag you know that's fine too and I think on this one I'm going to kind of do the same thing leave some opening to tap in the center before I put in more of the petals it's kind of a long bag so hopefully I'm getting all this into the view and then I'm going to do another folder open flower and just keep going with it if you have any questions please place those down below questions or comments feel free and you can overlap your flowers if you want makes it a little more realistic and and I'm typically when I do a design sometimes I have a, a different flowers you know several different but then there are times where I just stick with the one and that's primarily so that I'm just showing you one design this one I can go like that. Just pull it down. And then I'll come back in and do a couple more. Let's see which way I want this one. Maybe down like this. I like my odd numbers. I do like to tap in my centers too. I love my dear foot stipplers. It probably is my favorite way to create a center. Just saying. They're so easy to do. Okay, so I'm using just the one size. I'm going to tip the front of it into the moon yellow and the back of it into the real brown. And I always like to just tap off some of the paint so it's not full, full paint, full of paint. And then I'm just going to come in here and start tapping. Just putting a little brown on here. And then just keep doing it. And if you want to switch them around where your centers are going in different directions, you're more than welcome to do so. Because they don't all have to be going in the same direction. Definitely. If you had a bouquet, flowers are not always going to be pointing in the same direction. Make it a little bit deeper up here. down the bottom here. It's a little bit darker. And we're going to come up here and do the same thing. Running out the screen here sometimes. But anyhow, you could, could give it some drying time or hit it with a heat gun or a hair dryer. And the reason I say that is because it is wet. You're doing wet on wet. And you will get some of that paint to carry on into your design from the painting below. Excellent. Sometimes it's, I mean, most of the time I don't mind it. Sometimes I like to just have it, you know, not pull in the paint from below. So I do hit it with a dryer. I have a heat gun actually. And your, your centers don't have to be huge. You can make them big, you can keep them, keep them small. So how about, and I think I am going to hit this with a dryer here, I'll be right back. And add some petals here, and I want to try to add them low enough to where 
I'm not actually covering up the center too much. Because I don't want to, to cover it up per se, but I do want it to be, you know, where it's has some petals below it. So like that. And then I'm going to come over here, come down to this one and do the same thing. And sometimes you can just make some smaller petals or just kind of run them across the, the bottom. Go like that. So you're still seeing the center, but you're not completely cutting it off. And then do this. Like that, so that's nice. I'm going to do the same here. And you just can do some turning with it. Or just keep working it until you get the bottom the way you want it. So far, so good. Alright, so next thing I'm going to do, now on this one, I'll try to show you my plate, but I have my these number or these names are classic green, my lime green, but I also want to put in some of the real brown and the moon yellow. And this is just to maybe tame down some of the color a little bit. But I'm going to do some of my my stems here and just kind of go. Make them kind of wiggly. Come on down. They don't have to all be hooked together. They can have separate stems. Really up to you. However you want it to look. You know, at the end of the day, if you wanted it all on one stem, you could do that. Or if you want them on separate, you know, you can do that. And I'm just going to come like that and pull it in. Nice and easy. Do the same thing with this. Just attach it to the to this little stem. And just do little blending strokes too periodically. And I can pull that out like that, like it's not even part of the other two. Again, it's really up to you. And then do, do its own little stem here if you want. And I just do a mixture of colors on this. And see, it just really, when you get to the bottom here, it's just, if it were longer, you know, that's fine. But it's quite a mixture of stems, as you can see. You can either, you know, like I said, do that or or do your own one stem. But I kind of like it like this. Because what I'm going to do here is just do a bunch of just little easy, really longer one-stroke leaves. Let me put that in there. Kind of tip off. have to be a little bit lighter with my stroke. And then just pull... Not like that. And you can do them down here too. So again, you're not going to even see all these little stems. If you wanted to just do the flowers themselves and then do some leaves around them, you could do that without even showing a stem. Again, it's really up to you. I'm just going to put a lot of leaves in here. You could actually throw in some other flowers in here, some filler flowers, filler leaves, different colored leaves. It's up to you. But I'm just going to do this one style of leaf for the whole, the whole bag. And then pull 
pull it up there, up in here. Put a little brown in there, a little bit more brown. And it's fun, just a pretty little design. Again, keep in mind, any of my designs that I do are meant to be easy. I just want to stress that whenever I'm doing a video because I don't want you to think I'm trying to do some crazy design that's going to be really hard to do or whatnot. It's not meant to be hard. It's meant to be something that most everybody can do. If you can pick up a paintbrush, you can paint them. This makes it a pretty little gift bag, right? All right, we'll go up here, put that up. And uh, let's see what else. Do we need any other? Maybe another one to fill here. And then another thing that you can do just to maybe add a little bit of interest into it is just go through and just add some just quick little poles. Nothing, nothing difficult. And this just kind of almost is like a filler in a sense. I like that. Yeah, it's very, very easy. Alright, I think we're just about done. I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Here's the end product. Again, very pretty. Maybe even do a card or a little gift tag to put on it to you know, go along with it. You could actually even do some dotting around the centers or some poles you know, around it just to give it a little bit more interest. But again, just simple. Add to it. Use this design as a reference. However you want to do it. If you paint this design though, please feel free to share it on my Facebook page. I have that listed below. Make sure you subscribe to my video if you haven't done so already. And share this video with your friends and family on your social network. I would appreciate it. Alright. Thanks so much again for taking time to view my video. I appreciate it, and until the next time, you stay safe and healthy, and have a good one.